call the sun through the dead trees. In the background where the sun is just peeking through, big jackalberry tree. thinking just now when I said we're gonna see something unexpected today that's a guarantee something we never have to worry about not seeing on these drives they are live and a lot of things happen unexpectedly but sometimes seeing expected things are also good like the sunrise the sunrise every morning is beautiful if suddenly it became an unexpected event and it didn't come up it would be a very different experience so both the expected and unexpected things are awesome to experience out here Morning towards Bifosuk Dam. Straight towards Bifosuk Dam, go have a look around there. Slowly work our way south of it. I don't know if I go on too much about sunrises, but that just looked amazing. Probably about there, is it? Got a gap there. Yeah, it's a big tree, just looks awesome. Looks like a big, I'm not even sure, probably Marilla tree in the foreground. Maybe a knob thorn, just a silhouette of it. round seed pods you can see in the front right hand side it's just much much closer to it. the tree is quite far away probably 600 meters once in front is from a russet bush willow just the classic winged fruits from the combretums I'll just give you a slightly different perspective on that there's a dead tree in the foreground as well it's interesting how little movements can change the way we look at things Sleeping right next to the road here early morning. Or 
gorgeous little female. Look at those legs. Thin, thin legs. It's amazing that these animals can run so fast and jump so high. Very, very quick antelope. Same time, she'll only weigh a few kilograms. So, gravity does mess with her a bit less than it does with us or with an elephant, for instance. Again, as you can see, all the grass around her is burnt black stubble this is from this is from the fire break burn from a couple of weeks ago but against Tiembach explained yesterday quite a bit that they've got small pointy mouths allowing them to eat specific little parts of plants so that means that she can get good nutrition out of this already just the stubble that might be flushing through or green leaves coming off the trees enough to sustain benefit as well of also being on this area at the moment is that the parasites will be virtually non-existent on this burnt area. A few ticks, some of them survived it, but a lot of them not. You can see how these animals keep themselves really clean. Considering that she's at the moment spending most of her time in a burnt area with lots of black suit around and dust. Look at how white her belly. I need to get a glass head or something. So we can see through it. Water runs off it nice and easy, doesn't get too eroded from rain. around the water hole this morning. Always for the next time driving up to a water hole there. I mean very often you might see nothing there, you might just see water and that alone is quite beautiful out here. But, uh, statistically your chances of seeing something around the water just goes up. So these first moments as we approach and you just start seeing the water through the trees and start seeing the edges of the water hole is always very exciting. You never know what's going to be out and about this morning. <clears throat> 